First up, we're here in the kitchen of Chef Maribel Linfield. You have seen her on Grand River Living for the last several years, and it is such an honor on our last show of this year for me to cook with you in the kitchen. We're going to have some fun. We are. You've had several years with us in Grand River Living, and you've been to lots of different restaurants and seen lots of things going on. There's some wonderful memories that you've experienced. Tell us a little bit about what you've enjoyed the most about being on Rogers. Well, the very first time I, I did a segment, it was a lot of fun, but as soon as the lights came on, I forgot my name. And I've oh. improved greatly since then, so I'm thankful for well, that. we put it up on the screen. You know, you're, you're supposed to be able to remember that. Well, I'm much better now. I'm much better now. And it's been a joy to really not only, uh, you know, to explore the, the community, but really bring this community together as far as food, because food is a common denominator. And I've really come to appreciate how you don't have to go outside of the Tri-City area to experience fantastic food. We have some really good stuff, really good producers and suppliers and products right here. And we certainly do, and we show you that every week mm -hmm. on our show. So we're so glad you're joining us today, and I'm excited to be in the kitchen because I get to cook. I don't get to cook a lot, but today I do. Now, Maribel, I know you've been in business. You've been a chef uh, for a while, and you've been in the industry over 20 years, only you don't look that old to be 20 years in the industry. Tell us a bit more about what your new business and opportunities have presented to you. Oh, okay. Well, I teach cooking lessons. I'm a culinary instructor. And uh, one of the things that I try to do is to empower people with my knowledge and not just try to impress people with my knowledge. So my company, FoodDiva.com, is an online cooking school. And I also teach bridal, corporate, public, and private. I teach out of my home right here. I also go to people's homes, one-on-one um, -on -one tutoring. But what my dream is, is to teach the world how to cook because I am a big believer that the skill set or the life skill of knowing how to cook is incredibly important. It's up there with knowing your math, reading, writing, and learning how to drive. And of course, we have to eat. And I know that the world is consumed right now with fast food and we're all so busy. So you're going to show us some things of how to eat better. And I know your online cooking school is fantastic. You have to check out our website. And I'm sure we're going to put that up on the screen for you as well. So we're going to start something today. We're going to do some cooking, but we're going to do a dessert. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily as healthy as we'd like it to be. It's a little bit of dessert. But it's not that bad. And it's <laughs> tiramisu. Yes. This is something I've never made, and oh. nor do I have a recipe for. So uh, why don't easy. you get us started? Okay. That. Tiramisu is an Italian dessert that means little pick-me-up. And it's full of protein. It's full of a lot of good stuff. It has a few calories, but it's a dessert, so get over it. And enjoy life once in a while. I'm amazed how many people will go for a packaged, preserved something that is good till 2015 without thinking about it. But they don't want to enjoy a real dessert. So instead, have, have real eggs, real cream, real cheese, real flour, real alcohol, real espresso, everything and just enjoy it in its purest form. And this, from beginning to end, if I were doing this in real time, is 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Our show is 30 minutes. Please join us by the end of the show. We're going to have it finished and we'll be, yes, we'll sipping. Be we won't be sipping, we'll be eating. <laughs> yes. So let's get started. Where do we start? First, we crack some eggs. Will you help me? I can crack eggs, but one at a time. Can okay. you do it the fancy way of two? Absolutely. Oh, I can't do that. Absolutely. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the whites here, the yolks here, and the garbage there. All right, you can watch this, and then I'm going to do one. But coming up after the break, we're going to feature an art exhibit that you can actually touch. This is Grand River Living. Are you planning a special night out? Well, we have some fabulous tips for you on how to arrive in style. After the break, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels hits the stage at Drayton Entertainment. This is Grand River Living. Brandy. Welcome back. Our entertainment correspondent, Gabriella Curry, is in St. Jacob's today for the opening of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. That's all for our show this week. Join us again next week as we continue to bring you the best the region has to offer. But we'd like to hear from you. If you have any comments or suggestions regarding our show, you can visit us online at rogerstv.com or our viewer response line. Thanks again for joining us here on Grand River Living. And a special thanks to our very own food diva. Thank you for hosting us in your kitchen today. And before we say goodbye to another great season here at Grand River Living, we are going to say goodbye to our very own producer. Ian Murphy is going to be leaving us. He's going to be heading to Africa, if you can believe it. We're going to gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you and so it's much. been a great uh, couple of years with you. All the very best and thanks for all the great work you do. Thank you. So thanks again for joining us. Stay tuned for summer shows all summer long. It's going to be great, as usual, right here on Grand River Living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got lipstick on you. <laughs>